Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. I am here. I am back. I was gone last Tuesday and I do have reasons for that. I'm not going to necessarily get into them right now, but there are reasons. But it doesn't matter because now I'm here and I'm doing a Trans Tuesday video. Hashtag Trans Education. It's going to be lit. But yes, hello, I'm back. The lighting might not be great. My overhead lights are not working in my room anymore because the bulbs burned out and I haven't bought new ones yet. So you'll just have to bear with me with the minimum lighting that we have right now and I'm gonna hop into the video. So today's trans education is going to be based around debunking gender norms. Now gender norms are something that you see everywhere within society. The norm that women wear dresses and the men wear pants. Or that the automatic assumption of a human being is cisgender and heterosexual. And all of these things are based off of the gender roles that our society has lived by for generations. I'm not saying that they're necessarily a bad thing, but they're certainly not the greatest thing for everyone and they're not really helping society at all. One of the things that I like to work towards within my videos and throughout my life is debunking the idea that everyone you meet is cisgender and heterosexual. Because in reality, that's just not going to be true. Granted, the majority of people you might meet will be cisgender and or heterosexual. Not everyone you meet will be. And I think it's a very important thing for us to start thinking about the fact and not assuming that everyone is. Assuming someone's gender and sexuality can be incredibly harmful, but everyone does it on a day-to-day -day basis. Heck, I even do it. And it's something that we've been taught to do by society because the norm is that men are with women and women are with men. But in reality, there is no default. There is no default gender presentation for whatever you were assigned. There is no default sexuality or romanticality. There is no default way to identify. And an example of this I've seen is watching some guru type videos. So whether it be like a DIY video or a beauty video, Video, everyone there is tends to be targeting towards women when in reality a lot of the stuff they're talking about isn't just relatable to girls or teen girls or women a lot of it can be extremely relatable to men trans men people who identify outside of the binary spectrums I've noticed some of these youtubers calling their viewers ladies and girls and they're like let's get into it girls and I'm like I'm sitting there watching the video and I'm like I'm part of your audience and I am most certainly not a girl so I feel like that can make someone feel quite invalidated but it's it's also just not true that their sole audience is female. Their main demographic might be, but they do have an audience that isn't just cisgender, heterosexual female. So that is a big place that I have seen the assumption that there is a default of who can watch what, and who can do what, and who can act as what. And it really kind of sucks because it takes the original gender roles we have and are making them more prominent in our society, which is something that a lot of queer people have been working to get rid of for years. Within this video, I think my challenge to you is to stop assuming that everyone you meet is going to be cisgender and heterosexual. As a queer person, it's a bit easier for me to do, but if you are cis and het yourself, it might be a little bit more difficult. But I think it is a possible thing for all of us in society to begin doing is stop assuming. I just wanted to touch on the assumption that everybody is cis and het and all of that good stuff and bring up a little bit of a gender norm. That's what I wanted to talk about today, and I think that's what we covered. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and comment down below What are some things that you automatically tend to assume about someone? It's not gonna be a bad thing. No one's gonna attack you in the comments I just want to know what are some things that you want to work on not assuming about people If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this you can subscribe to my channel because I post a trans ed every Tuesday and another video every Thursday So Tuesdays Thursdays two videos a week coming your way I'm also doing a lot of stuff on my side channel channel so you can go check out my side channel which is linked below and if you want to see me in my day-to-day -day life you can go check out all of my social media such as snapchat and twitter it is at the Riley Kyle everywhere you can find me there you can follow me there you can stay up to date with me and that's all I have for you guys today I really hope you enjoyed this video and I love you and I will see you on Thursday okay bye